worrying about your neighbors. Hey guys! Today's video are things only guinea pig owners understand. Bales of hay. I'm the only person in my house full of apartments that gets delivered bales of hay from a farm. The package even says in big lettering, hay from a farm. Do my neighbors and the postman think I'm like Pippi Longstocking and keep a horse in my apartment? Maybe. But in any case, the guinea pigs always have a fresh bale. Worrying about your neighbors. Sometimes the guinea pigs just get into one of their moods. Either when they've decided that I have set them for months and start screaming on top of their lungs, or when they start chasing each other. Especially Lulu it has the loudest complaining voice when that happens. And every time I'm scared my neighbors are going to think I'm seriously being mean to my pets. Or that I'm producing my own pork right here in my living room. Feeling like the healthiest person alive. You know how we all buy frozen meals, sweets and chips? Well, all of that is buried under a massive amount of veggies from the fresh produce section. Standing at the checkout, you'll be that one person who looks like an absolute health nut. Sure, for snacks I just love to eat some raw fennel and my favorite smoothie is made out of carrot tops. I actually once was checking out the fennel to find the best one for the piggies and someone came up to me and asked me how I prepared the fennel for salad or cooking and what the best way would be to prepare it. Apparently this person really wanted to try out fennel for themselves. I had to awkwardly answer that I don't think I ever ate fennel actually, but that my guinea pigs really loved it and could really recommend it. The bean situation. You'll develop an interest in your guinea pig's beans. In fact, you even like to talk about it in case something looks weird. Honey, I feel like someone is producing really weird beans. I don't really know whose it is, but it looks kind of awkward. Definitely not normal. Let's top off the hay and then see whether we can find out whose it is. Definitely not Lumi's beans. We can be sure of that because they look perfect. Good job, Lumi. Even though... <laughs> You're lazying around and too lazy to push them out fully. <laughs> By the way, oftentimes it's absolutely nothing, but still better safe than sorry, I guess. Apologizing. I apologize every time I get up or walk into the room or sneeze or cough or play music or my phone makes a noise and the guinea pigs get spooked or growl at me. This probably happens around 10 times a day since I've started working from home. <coughs> Sorry, piggies. Dog it! Carrying random veggies in your office bag. Because you just quickly popped into the store the day before. I'm not making this up, this actually happened. I went to work the next day, looked for something in my handbag and noticed a big piece of fennel as pretty much the only thing that I brought to work that day. Oops. It's more than just a small pet. This sounds really cheesy, I apologize in advance. But guinea pigs take over your heart so quickly. People who've never owned rodents often don't understand how much love you feel for your furry friends. Sometimes when I'm worried about an illness that a guinea pig has, people will often respond with, well they're so small and fragile you shouldn't get so attached to them, or well don't they die rather quickly anyway? So I often feel like people who don't own small pets or have never owned small pets don't really understand that you get as attached to them as you would do to any other pet, whether that pet is big, small, furry or hairless. The same sentiment is also often true for the amount of work that guinea pigs make. Their care can be pretty time consuming, but it is not always obvious to people who've never owned rodents. 
needs furniture. Constantly thinking about whether you can get rid of even more furniture to expand the guinea pig cage so that the guinea pigs can have more space. Do we really need a shelf and chair as much as the guinea pigs need another hammock? These are really important questions to ask. Even though my husband doesn't think so and just leaves the room when I start thinking about ways to expand the cage. These were a couple of things only guinea pig owners understand. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you guys next time!